Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 23rd May. What a day FIs found their feet today. Net value is still 4670 crore only. But look at the buy number. Nearly 20,000 crore lapped up by FIIs and DIs bought another 12,000 crores. 31,000 crores worth of buying. Yes, they were selling also 27,000 crores. But the buying was mostly in the ultra large cap space. FIIs had two options either to move out and exit to China or stay in India for which you have to go long. It seems that FI at least as of today chose the second option. The announcement from RBI yesterday literally put the markets on steroids today. 2,11,000 crores is nearly 1% of the GDP. That covers significant part of the deficit. In fact, this entire quarter government spending has been pretty low. As a result, the next government will have significant cash, one what remains from this quarter and second, the extra money that RBI gave to spend as soon as they come into power. Today's rally was also fueled by one emerging clarity. There are three options for the election results. BJP gets a majority and comes to power yet again. The second option is the majority is not that high as expected. However, since BJP is the largest party, no other party will get more than 70-80 seats. As a result, mostly president will invite BJP only to form the government. They will have 30 days to prove the majority. The third option literally is not feasible where the opposition will get, get a clear-cut majority and mandate. It will take them several days to figure out what is the number, who will lead the country, who will be the PM, who will be the FM. All that chaos will give BJP enough time to take a claim in front of the president and go ahead with the option two which I mentioned. This new realization probably caused a lot of shots to get covered today. Significant people were light ahead of the election results. Also today was a weekly expiry. Last week there was a V-shaped recovery. Markets fell for 75 minutes and then went up 75 minutes. Today probably traders were expecting markets will go up and then come down. That never happened. Lot of traders with positions expiring today had open short positions. Those shorts got squeezed out mercilessly. Nifty, it looks like a simple line up. However, this was an all time high day. While everyone was expecting 22,800 to be a stiff resistance, nearly 23,000 got taken out today. 8 point short. 1.64% for the Nifty at all time highs is a really big number. All top 8 stocks were in green. As a result of markets going up, certainty coming in, gold fell 1%, Brent 82.5, Bitcoin around 70,000, FIDI data I already discussed, Nifty Bank found its feet today, up 1.6%. While S&P and NASDAQ look red from yesterday, NVIDIA is up 8% in pre-markets. It is already the number 3 company in the world now. $2.3 trillion is closing in on Apple now. Apple was the first company to $3 trillion. It seems at the current pace based upon the results yesterday. And once NVIDIA goes for a 1 is to 10 stock split, NVIDIA might see $3 trillion or get closer very soon. Local markets, ITC net profit fell 1.3%. Indigo's net profit nearly doubled. Yesterday, there was a comical news. One of the flights of Indigo had to return back because one passenger was found standing in the flight after it took off. Literally, there is an RAC now going on in the flights also of Indigo. The flights are running so full. Mamar posted a 30 crore profit. Ever since the IPO days, it has been talk of the town for the exorbitant pricing. Bharat Dynamics, one of the bigger stocks in the defense table, goes for a split tomorrow. One is to two. And the results are on 30th May. Today's charge was led by Reliance. It started with a gap up, consolidated, seemed like an ordinary day. But after that, it just went up vertically. Towards end, there was a little profit booking. 3025 is a very strong resistance level. Reliance has already attempted that twice. If the markets continue the rally tomorrow, this will be the third attempt to break 3025. Just like Reliance, Nifty also started with a gap up, consolidated for a little while, and then went up continuously towards end there was a bit of profit booking now this may look like a simple chart but if you are a trader there are a lot of hiccups during the day let me zoom in this downward trend around 130 traders probably felt that the markets will now correct that is where a lot of short positions would have got recreated this is where markets went up this leads to panic again markets slid up little this led to confusion People would have exited their long positions. Then came a really steep uptick. Again, there was a fall. Seems like the rally for the day is over and now market will fall severely. All these candles were falling pretty ferociously. Note these are one minute candles. Again up, again down, again up, again down. There was no decisive moment 
every position traders were taking, markets were reversing. What typically happens is, suppose someone books their losses, typically to take revenge, they take reverse positions, which means they will go long. After that, markets start falling. Now the courage levels are pretty low. This is where again people exit. And again, they see the markets going up. These are crazy moves for traders who keep strict stop losses. They get squeezed out on both sides, whether they are short or long. So while the markets went up continuously, a lot of people would have lost a lot of money today. Sector snapshot, again 25 sectors were green. Metals which were shining for last 8 days actually went for a correction. It seems like a lot of people booked their profits in metals and moved the money to banking and oil and gas. The top 3-4 sectors were rocking today. Let's start with aerospace and defense. Garden Reach Shipbuilder after the fantastic results went up 20%. Musgaon Dock after the correction last 2 days went up another 8.5%. Bharat Dynamics up 6.5%. HAL only 0.6% but still up. This sector has not seen any down day since 10th of the month. Automobiles had a rocking day led by Maruti 3.2%. Diversified industrial goods. This sector has been up for 6 out of last 7 days. The sector mostly comprises of Adani Enterprises. The stock was up 8% today. Adani Enterprises will soon be included in the Sensex replacing Wipro now. Oil and gas was up significantly. Chennai Petro up 5.23%. Metal and mining. This would probably be Hindustan Zing down. Yes, 4% correction in Hindustan. Sanzing, 3% in Vedanta. Nifty 50, this is the craziest I have ever seen. Most stocks significantly high volumes than usual. Only 6 stocks were in the red. Sun Pharma market did not like their projections. Though results were good. NTPC, Power Grid, Coal India, Hindalco. 21 stocks, nearly half of the indices is suddenly in the 90 to 100% zone. Most of these 21 also are at all time highs, not just 52 week highs. This is one mother of all bull runs. Next 50, however, had very shallow volumes. The interest was mostly in the large stocks. The high volumes also were in the Adani pack mostly. Adani Wilmer, Adani Total, Adani Energy. All three of them are significantly away from the 52-week highs. So there is a significant run left in these stocks if they continue to go up. In fact, Ambuja Cements is also Adani pack. IT index was rocking today. Each and every stock was up. The big boys, TCS, Infosys, they were up 1.6 and 1.2 percent. Volumes also were more than 100 percent for most stocks. We now have Nifty Energy also. Reliance Industries was up 1.75 percent. However, out of the other companies, NTPC, Power Grid, and Coal India were down. Power Grid results were not good. Market punished the stock. Let's go to banks. All greens, the big banks up more than 2 percent. SBI 1.7 percent. This sector was on fire today. So were the PSU banks. Not a single stock red. The banking sector is perhaps already celebrating the election results, it seems. How did my trades go? Garden Reach, I had bought a couple of days back in anticipation of good results. I sold off my holdings. Good, decent profit, but I'm not celebrating it. I'll talk about that next. I took some new positions today. RVNL, already a run-up was 8% was there, but still I bought it. In the construction space, this is the second largest company in the country. It is railways, it is public sector, all the right takes to go up further hopefully. So if the markets continue the rally tomorrow, this stock should go up more. I bought 10,000 more of idea for trading purpose primarily. The stock was already 4% up when I bought it. I'll probably sell it after 3 or 4 rupee gain. The momentum seems to be good an idea. Bharat Dynamics I've added to the positions. So the money I got from GRSE, I invested that in BDL. Again, BDL will go through a stock split tomorrow. Results on 30th May. Hope the good luck in defense stocks continue in case of Bharat Dynamics also. This is again a position which will last 2-3 days only. I'll sell it off after that. So the short positions for now have gone terribly wrong because there are simply too many lots but I just didn't want to give in to the short squeeze. These positions I'll square off tomorrow and update you what happened. If the markets open in green then this loss will compound. However, in that case, the rescue at hopefully will be done by RVNL, which I bought earlier today because that will go up with the market. If the markets fall just 0.5 to 0.6%, then most of this loss will get recovered. I'll square off the positions in the early hours only. Hopefully the expiry is done. The rally has been on for many days. Tomorrow, there may be some profit booking in the initial hours. As of today, I'm not very confident if I'll continue the short positions beyond tomorrow. Earlier, I was thinking of capitalizing on the uncertainty during the exit polls. Let's revisit the question from yesterday. The stock I was talking about was Satin Credit Care. I was talking about June minus 27 EPS. Before that, there was a minus 11 EPS here. As a result, this stock looked like a minus 1, minus 2 rupee or 1 rupee EPS stock. For EPS to look good, this quarter had to go out of the window. That happened 
when we had four continuous up quarters here in june 2023 we had an eps of 36 rupees if you want to go full year then this particular year had the minus 28 rupee so net eps was around minus two the next full year nearly 41 rupee so from minus two minus two kind of eps levels we went to 41 this year this becomes a stock price of 230 240 let's check what actually happened so i'm at a three year window in the june in the 2021 window the stock price was below 100 bucks this is 100 level this started going up a little this is approximately 150 level 170 level 220 level it went up to 270 right now it has fallen below 250 this was perhaps the rbi related fall where nbfc's as well as small caps were severely beaten down so from sub 100 levels this went up to 270 levels right now the pe is 6 industry pe is 20 most of the smaller stocks in this space are around 10 in these kind of bull runs no one cares for small caps with low pe's the stocks with high beta high pe's are the ones which are in more demand during the bull runs the eps is around 40 if the markets were to give it a better pe say 8 then 320 kind of levels are not far off as a disclaimer i have significant quantity of this stock and this analysis is not a recommendation to buy this is a small cap and a very risky stock it can fall a lot if the market's correct today's question is around tata steel the results are not yet out the last four quarters the eps has been 1.39.52 minus 5.4 before that in december it was minus 1.8 can you analyze this and predict what will happen in current results for the quarter and hence the financial year? I've already covered some part in the JSW Steel coverage. I'll talk about my view tomorrow. These are crazy times if you are long in the markets and are just staying out or investing a bit. Today you might be laughing at the shorts. Tomorrow will be a new day. No one knows what is in store tomorrow. It is very hard to stay out, especially if you have strong convictions. There is a lot of money to be made or lost depending upon how your trades go. But believe me, not too many people know what is in store unless they have some clues on what the election results will look like. These markets are predominantly right now being run by election results, not fundamentals, technicals, US markets, oil levels or anything else. Next week's expiry will be the monthly expiry and the last expiry before we get into the results finally. It is going to get even crazier than it has been last expiry and today's expiry. Hold on tight. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic remaining day. I'll see you tomorrow.